Mila Sanga Bruno, Romeno Skondo Roboli Baba Kashiki Liburia, Brake Sonto Roboli Baba Kaskende, Raima Sakata Puri Baba Kaskende Liburia, Marume Naseke Liburi Baba Kaskende Rohulia, Marika Suri Baba Kaskende Rohulia, Broke Sekete Rima Kuri Baba Kaskende, Ramina Sakata Rababa Keta Rubila, Mare Baba Kashanda Rababa. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Jehovah Almighty. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Jehovah Almighty. We praise you, Lord. We praise. Satan 
resisted Joshua the high priest in the presence of the angel of the Lord. Let that thing be swallowed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let that thing be swallowed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any covenant in your life, any curse in your life, any sin in your life, any disobedience in your life, any iniquity in your life, any transgression in your life that can resist you in the presence of God right in this prayer meeting. Let the blood of Jesus wash them away. Let the blood of Jesus wash them away. Let the blood of Jesus wash them away. Anything in my life, I want you to pray for yourself as I join this prayer meeting. Anything in my life, anything in my wife's life, anything in my children's lives, Oh yes, whether it is a sin, whether it is a, a, an iniquity, whether it is transgression, whether it is disobedience that can make Satan to resist me in this meeting, right in the presence of God, oh mercy of the living God, swallow them now in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, swallow them now in the name of Jesus, mercy of God, swallow them now in the name of Jesus, any filthiness in my life that can make Satan that can make the enemy of my progress, the enemy of my destiny to challenge me in this prayer meeting. Blood of Jesus, wash them away. Blood of Jesus, wash them away. Say, I confess to every sin in my life, any sin in my life that Satan can use against me in this prayer meeting. I confess to each and every one of them in the name of Jesus. I am a sinner. Paul said, among sinners, I am a chief sinner. Oh Lord, my Father, have mercy on me. I am a sinner. Among sinners, I am a chief sinner. Let the blood of Jesus wash away all my sins. All the sins I've committed, whether known or unknown to me, whether in word, in thought, or in action. Father, let the blood of Jesus wash away my sins in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to pray again for yourself. Say, as I join this prayer meeting, Every garment of failure on my body, Holy Ghost fire, remove it. In the name of Jesus, as I join this prayer meeting, every garment of failure on my body, Holy Ghost fire, remove it. In the name of Jesus, as I join this prayer meeting, yes, yes, every garment of failure on my body, on my wife's body, on my children's body, Holy Ghost fire, remove them in the name of Jesus. As I join this prayer meeting, every garment of non-achievement that the wicked are sold for me. Holy Ghost fire, remove it from my body. Holy Ghost fire, remove it from my wife's body. Holy Ghost fire, remove it from my children's body. In the name of Jesus, you are here this afternoon. Say, as I'm joining this prayer meeting, every garment of affliction, every garment of infirmity on my body, Holy Ghost fire, remove it by fire. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, remove it by fire. In the name of Jesus, every garment garment of infirmity, every garment of diseases and sicknesses, every garment, oh yes, that the, that the the kingdom of darkness, the enemy, the agents of darkness have sold for me. Holy Ghost fire, remove them from my body. 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 Yes, every garment of rejection of my body, of my wife's body, of my children's body, blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, remove them from our bodies. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, blood of Jesus. Remove them from our body. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus name we pray. As we are joining this prayer meeting, I want you to pray this prayer. Say any kingdom that is not of God, that is ruling my life, I pull you down in this prayer meeting by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any kingdom that is not of God, whether it is my kingdom, whether it is the kingdom of darkness that is ruling over my life, that is ruling over my wife's life, that is ruling over my children's lives, I pull them down by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every kingdom that is not of God, that is in charge of my life, 
every Obanje kingdom, every familiar spirit kingdom, every local kingdom, yes, every witchcraft kingdom, every occultic kingdom that is in charge of my life, that is ruling over my life in this prayer meeting. I pull you down by the power in the blood of Jesus. In this prayer meeting, I pull you down by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every kingdom that is not of God, every kingdom under the water that is ruling over my life, that is ruling over my wife's life, that is ruling over my children's lives, I pull you down in this prayer meeting by the power in the blood of Jesus. I pull you down in this prayer meeting by the power in the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say, I want you to pray this prayer. Say, any power that is living in the inside of me, that is saying, I will end up as a failure. Any power that is living in the inside of me, that is saying, I will end up as a failure. You are a liar. Come out and catch fire in the name of Jesus. Come out and catch fire in the name of Jesus. Somebody is looking at me right now. And as I'm looking at you, I address the power that is living in the inside of you. Any power that that power that is living in the inside of you, that is saying that you will end up as a failure. I command that power to come out and catch fire in the name of Jesus. To come out and catch fire in the name of Jesus. To come out and and catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every power that is living in the inside of you that is saying that you must end up as a failure. I say, Come out and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out and catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out and catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out and catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Yes, your life must move forward by fire. Amen. Somebody is looking at me right now. Say, Any power. That is living in the inside of me. That is saying, I will not get married. Come out and catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any power that is living inside me. That is saying, I will not get married. That is saying, I will not have a stable home. Come out and catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out and catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out and catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any power living inside my life, living inside my wife's life, living inside my children's life, that is saying that we will never have a stable marital life, that is saying we will never have a stable home. come out and die by the power in the blood of Jesus you need to command them to come out you need to command them to die, that the power, yes, they said the ant that is eating the vegetable is right inside the vegetable. You are looking at me right now. The power that is challenging you is living right in the inside of you. I want you to hold your stomach. I want you to hold your stomach with your two hands. You are going to shout like this. And the power that is living in the inside of me. Oh yes. That is challenging the agenda of God for my life. Come out and catch fire by the power and the blood of Jesus. Come out and catch fire by the power and the blood of Jesus. Come out and catch fire by the power and the blood of Jesus. Any power that is living inside of me, sometimes you inherit a witchcraft from your father, from your mother. Hallelujah. Yes, there are some resident power that you inherited from your parents. And these are the powers that are challenging the good thing in your life. You are going to shout like this. Any dark power living inside my life, challenging the good things of my life, come out and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out and die. By the power in the blood of Jesus, any power that is living inside my body, that is living inside my life, that is living inside my blood, that is living inside my water, that is challenging the good things of my life, I command you to come out and catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. You need to get aggressive. You need to get aggressive. It is inside you. You are feeling it right now as you are praying now. It is moving around your body. It is moving around your body. Yes, that, that thing, that power that is moving around your body, I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. That power that is moving around your body, I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. That power that is moving around your body, I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are looking at me right now. You are believing God for the fruit of the womb. Every power living inside you 
that is saying that you will not bear children. I command them to come out and catch fire in the name of Jesus. Any power that is living inside your body that is saying you will not have your own children, I command them to come out and catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I command them to come out and catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I command you, I command them to come out of your body, come out of your life, catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. You are looking at me. A power is living inside of you that is saying that they will only use you and dump you. They will only continue to use you and dump you. When you have a relationship, they will use you and dump you. When you go to go and join the company, they will use you and, join, and dump you. Anywhere you go, they use you and dump you. You are going to shout like this. Any power that is living in the inside of me, that is saying they will always use me and dump me. Any power that is living in the inside of me, that is saying they will always use me and dump me. Come out and catch fire. Come out and die. Come out and catch fire. Come out and die. Come out and catch fire. Come out and die. Come out and catch fire. Come out and die. Come out and catch fire. Come out and die. Yes, we are here for a very serious business today. Any power, the power is living inside you. And that power is everywhere you go. You say, she must be used. She must be dumped. He must be used. He must be dumped. Every power that is living inside your body that is saying you must be used and be dumped. I command them to come out and catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, I command them to come out and catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, ah, I pray for somebody here. Every tailor of darkness that is sowing the garment of sorrow for you. Yes, the tailor and the garment of sorrow shall catch fire in the name of Jesus. Any tailor of darkness that is sowing the garment of sorrow for you, the tailor and the garment of sorrow shall catch fire, shall catch fire in the name of Jesus, shall catch fire in the name of Jesus. The tailor and the garment of sorrow shall catch fire in the name of Jesus. Marika suri baba kashanga la baba. Ah, somebody is looking at me right now. Say any power residing inside me. Amen. Amen. Releasing bitterness into my heart. Yes. Nobody. It's not the people that are, that are around you that are putting bitterness in your heart. There's something living inside you. Hallelujah. Any power, if you can pray this prayer very well, if you can shout this prayer very well, any power living in the inside of me, producing, releasing bitterness into my heart, come out and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any power that is living in the inside of me and releasing bitterness, releasing unhappiness into my heart, into my mind, come out and catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out and catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out and catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out and catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out and catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power that lived inside my father, that lived inside my mother, that is now living inside of me, for me to have a, a life of crisis. Any power that lived inside my father, that lived inside my mother, that is now living inside me, for me to have crisis in my life, he have the judgment of God. Come on, that, 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 come on, that. Addressing the power that is living inside you right now. Oh yes, the power that is bringing bad luck into your life. The power that is attracting those that will destroy you. The power 
that is attracting those that will jilt you. The power that is attracting those that will defraud you. My shakata, that power is living inside you right now. I command it to come out and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. I command the power to come out and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. I command the power to come out and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. And the power living inside your body that is stealing all your blessings. And some people, they will walk and walk and walk and walk. The same work their colleague is doing. They are making money. They are getting wealth. But they, they have nothing to show about, to show for what they are doing. They are walking like elephants and they are eating like ants. You are going to pray like this. Any power living inside my body, stealing all my blessings, Come out and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. And the power living inside my body, living inside my wife's body, living inside my children's bodies. Ah, and stealing all our blessings. Come on, die, come on. You are a very great man. You are a very great woman. You are made to succeed. In fact, you are a millionaire. That is the truth. But there is something that is living in the inside of you. Whenever the blessing is coming, then that, that thing will begin to do certain things. And all the blessings will be swallowed. I want you to balance yourself. Any power living inside my body, stealing all my blessings, any power that is living inside my body, that is stealing all my blessings. Ah, come on, that, 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 that. This afternoon, the fourth man, the Lord Jesus Christ, will appear in the fire of your life in the name of Jesus. That fire that is burning you right now, the Lord Jesus Christ, the fourth man in the fire, we appear, we appear, we appear, we appear, we appear, we appear, we appear. Yes, before you leave this prayer meeting today, the fourth man in the fire will appear in your life in the name of Jesus. He that has the leg of brass, he that has the hair of uh, that is as white. The snow, his eyeballs are they are they are balls of fire. Oh, yes, he wears the garment of fire. The Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, will appear in the fire that the enemy has set for your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! We are still praying this prayer, amen. Any power living inside my body, stealing blessings from my hands, any power living inside my body. Stealing blessings from my hands, fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any power that is living inside my body, that is living inside my wife's body, that is living inside my children's body, and stealing blessings from our hands, that by fire, come, that, come, that, that. That is supposed to earn you big, you know, huge amount of money, huge amount of profit. Everything disappears. 
A power is living inside your body that is stealing blessings from your hands. You are in this prayer meeting. I don't know who asked you to join this prayer meeting, but I bless God that you join this prayer meeting. That power living inside your body that is stealing blessings from your hands, that is stealing profits from your hands. I command it to die. 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 By the power in the blood of Jesus. Ramashika lebori babakashkeneye. Father, we bless your holy name. To you we give all the glory. In the name of Jesus, I welcome you once again to this hour of deliverance power prayer meeting all the way from Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministries, Tampa, Florida. It is a life-changing prayer meeting. Please, if you have any friend, if you have any relative, and you want them to be blessed even through this through this medium, please share this prayer meeting with them immediately. Amen. As many as can do a watch party. Yes, please do a watch party with this prayer meeting. The Lord will bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus. A lot of people are hurting. Terrible things are happening. Unexplainable things are happening in the lives of men and women that they are going all over the place to look for solution, but they cannot find solution. As you join this prayer meeting today, the, the problems of your life will meet with God's divine solution. In the name of Jesus, the problems of your life will meet, will meet with God's divine solution. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we are prayed. We have another prayer topic today. Just like yesterday, we, we dealt with the topic, yes, when your uh, divine reign of blessing refuses to fall. And we really thank God for that prayer meeting because I, I, I saw that in that prayer meeting yesterday, uh, all the tap of blessings that the wicked has locked, has closed, they suddenly opened yesterday by the power and the blood of Jesus and already testimonies are flowing. We are giving glory to God. We give glory to His holy name because He is the God that reigns from everlasting to everlasting. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is the, is the, is the first and the last. He is the God that sees the end from the beginning. He sees the beginning from the end. He is the one that can see the inside from the outside. He can see the outside from the inside. That is the God that we serve. He, the, the I am that I am. The I am that I am that tells you, don't be afraid because I am with you. He said, be still and you will know that I am the Holy One of Israel. I don't, I, I don't know what you are going through. I don't know for how long you have been going through it. But this prayer platform is designed for you. It's designed for your turnaround. And I believe God. Just like the testimonies that have been flowing in, I was talking to that, my daughter in Europe, just a few minutes, she was so excited, she was so happy, hallelujah, they were asking for a lot of requirements, while she was looking for the requirements, she was telling me, but she didn't have them, I said, don't worry yourself, and before we knew what was happening, they are sending her a residence permit. We give glory to God once again. And for all the miracles in the house. I mean, somebody said she has not been able to get pregnant for years. Now, all of a sudden, she is now pregnant. We give glory to God. God is answering our prayers on, in this prayer mountain. So today, once you share this prayer meeting, and for all those that are sharing, the Lord will continue to bless you in the name of Jesus. We have another crucial prayer point, prayer topic that we have to deal and I want you to balance yourself. I want you to pray. What is the top title of this prayer topic? It is when your divine position has been transferred to another. When your divine position has been transferred to another. I want you to raise up your two hands and shout it. My divine position that has been transferred to another. I recover you in this meeting. By the power in the blood of Jesus, my divine position that has been transferred to another, I recover you in this prayer meeting. By the power in the blood of Jesus, by divine position, by wife's divine position, by children's divine position that has been transferred to another, by the power in the blood of Jesus, we recover you in this prayer meeting. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, we recover you in this prayer meeting. In the name of Jesus, you are looking at me right now. They gave your position. 
the position that everyone allocated to you, they gave it to another through witchcraft manipulations. I prophetically declare upon your life that your divine position that has been transferred to another, I recover it for you today by the power in the blood of Jesus. I recover it for you today by the power in the blood of Jesus. I recover it for you today by the power in the blood of Jesus. Even in a family, I had the story of a brother. I went to minister in the church. The brother ran after me. He said, Pastor, everything you spoke about is me. When I was a young boy, my mother took me to a herbalist. And the herbalist looked at me and told my mother, can your boy go outside? I need to tell you some things. The guys, the man now said, when he went out, he saw a window. So he peeped through the window. He could see the mother and the herbalist talking. And he heard what they were saying. The herbalist told his mother, this was this brother telling me his own story. He said the herbalist told his mother that this boy is the flagship of your family. He's going to travel abroad. He's going to be wealthy. He's going to do very well. But he will not use his money. You know that nobody will benefit from his wealth in your family. Ha! The mother said, why? Well, I've always known him to be rascally. He's very stubborn. He, 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 doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't have sympathy for anyone. He said, Baba, can we transfer it to his brother? Can we transfer this to his younger brother? The brother told me that this was what he had. I, I met this brother in the United Kingdom. Hallelujah. The brother said, sir, even though I traveled abroad, even though I did IT, even though this, but the problem I'm going through, I remember what that Abanis told my mother. Amen. You are going to pray like this. Say powers transferring my position to another. Powers transferring my position to another. Here are the judgment of the Lord. For that, for that. Divine position, allocated position, has been given to another by their own family members. You are looking at me right now. Yes, you are supposed to be the richest in your father's house. Everything happening around you is pointing to the fact that you are supposed to be the richest, even richer than your father. But everything is just going wrong. Hallelujah. I don't know who convinced you to join this prayer meeting, but your story is changing today by the power in the blood of Jesus. Your story is changing today by the power in the blood of Jesus. Your story is changing today by the power in the blood of Jesus. Your story is changing today by the power in the blood of Jesus. Your story is changing today by the power in the blood of Jesus. Yes, because you will recover your position before the end of this prayer meeting. In the name of Jesus. Yes, the position of wealth, the position of riches, the position of greatness that Jehovah allocated you, immediately you are created. You came to this world and they took it away from you. They gave it to another. The power in the blood of Jesus will recover it for you in this prayer meeting. The power in the blood of Jesus will recover it for you in this prayer meeting. The power in the blood of Jesus will recover it for you in this prayer meeting. In the name of Jesus, the power I'm praying for you and prophesy into your life. And so shall it be. I say the power in the blood of Jesus, the power of life and resurrection. Yes, the power that the grave will not hold captive will recover your divine position for you in the name of Jesus. We recover your divine position for you in the name of Jesus. We recover your divine position for you in the name of Jesus. You are not created to struggle. No. You are not created to suffer. As a matter of fact, you are supposed to be sitting on an armchair and wealth and riches are coming to meet you at home, especially in this age of internet. 
You are supposed to sit down in, in the comfort of your sitting room, in the comfort of your bedroom, and you are going to be using computer, yes, to move, to move millions of dollars, millions of pounds. Don't worry. It is coming back by the power in the blood of Jesus. It is coming back by the power in the blood of Jesus. Because the power that is resident, that they planted inside you, they planted that power. And that power has been transferring your wealth to another. You are going to pray like this. Somebody is looking, look, it's a very serious calamity. Any power planted in my life, transferring my wealth to another, fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any power living inside my life, living inside my body, that is transferring my wealth to another, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Any power living inside my body, living inside my wife's body, living inside my children's body, that is transferring our wealth to another, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, how can you be wealthy? When the power transferring your wealth is living right inside you. Let's go into the Bible. When your divine position has been transferred to another, by the power in the blood of Jesus, within the next three days, from now, that your divine position that was given to another, you will physically recover it in the name of Jesus. You will physically recover it in the name of Jesus within the next three days. By the power of the blood of Jesus, your, your position that was spiritually transferred to another, even physically, he will recover it in the name of Jesus. You will recover it in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let us go to 1 Kings chapter 1, verse 16 to 19. Very interesting scripture. 1 Kings chapter 1, verse 16 to 19. And Bath Sheba bowed and did obeisance unto the king. And the king said, What wouldest thou? What do you want? And she said unto him, My Lord, thou swearest by the Lord thy God unto thy handmaid, saying, As surely, so no man thy son shall reign after me. And he shall sit upon my throne. Ah. Pray this prayer. Any power, any personality that has captured my seat and my throne, release it by fire in the name of Jesus. Somebody is there. God has given you a business empire. Somebody is in this meeting. I don't know. This is what I'm carrying. God has given you a business empire, but the seat and the throne of that business empire is in the hand of another. They transfer it to another. Somebody is using it. Hallelujah. Any power that has captured the seat and the throne of your business empire I will say, recover it by fire, release 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 it by fire, in the name of yes, every power that has seized, that has captured the seat and the throne of your wealth, of your riches. Of your greatness, of your position, wherever they are right now, I challenge them by the power in the blood of Jesus, and I command them to release it and die in the name of Jesus. I command them to release it and die in the name of Jesus. I command them to release it and die in the name of Jesus. Pray for yourself. Lay your hand on your head. Say, powers that have captured the seat and the throne of my wealth and riches. Hear the judgment of the Lord. Release it and die. 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 In the name of Jesus. No wonder. You are working very hard. But nothing is working. 
You are working very hard. Nothing is working. Your position, the position that is supposed to produce the wealth and the riches has been given to another. Has been transferred to another. Let's continue with our scripture reading. First Kings chapter 1. I go to verse 18 now. And now behold, I don't need that. Really. Ha. Assuredly, Solomon say, Assuredly, Solomon thy son shall reign after me, and he shall sit upon my throne. And now behold, I don't need that. Really. And now, my lord the king, thou knowest it not. And he had slain oxen and fat cattle and sheep in abundance, and had called all the sons of the king, and Abiata the priest, and Joab the captain of the host. But Solomon thy servant had he not called. Look at me, pray this prayer. Say, every Adonijah, every Adonijah that wants to collect the throne of my Solomon fall down and die in the name of Jesus. The Adonijah may be a member, a blood relative that wants to collect your throne. Every Adonijah that wants to collect the throne of my Solomon, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every Adonijah in my father's house, every Adonijah in my mother's house, every Adonijah in my in-law's house, every Adonijah in my place of birth. Oh yes, every Adonijah in this land of America that wants to collect Collect my position that wants to collect my throne that wants to collect my wife and my children's position and throne. He had the judgment of the Lord. Oh, that, oh, that. The prayer meeting with the difference. You are sitting down here. Your position is being occupied by another. The position that is supposed to make you great is making some other people great. The position that is supposed to make you wealthy is making some other people wealthy. You don't understand. You know, this. <laughs> the Bible says, I see a strange thing underneath the sun. He said, servants are riding on horses, but princes are walking barefooted with the reins of the horses in their hands. Amen. The owner of the horse is walking barefooted. <laughs> his servants are the one riding on his horse. Ah, you are going to pray. Every servant of darkness. Riding on the horse of my destiny, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every servant of darkness, riding on the horse of my destiny, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every servant of darkness, riding on the horse of my destiny, riding on the horse of my wife's destiny, riding on the horse of my children's destiny, fall down fall down. Entitled, they claim entitlement. Those whom positions don't belong, they forcefully, through their diabolic powers, through their fetish powers, to capture, to seize the position that does not belong to them. Somebody is here. There is a position of wealth that God has prepared for you. Listen to me very well. For you to sit on that position of wealth, huge wealth, huge wealth, huge wealth, a wealth that will be celebrated globally. For you to sit on that wealth, you have to become more serious 
than you are right now. You are not serious. That is why that seat of wealth, you cannot get to it. Today, by the power in the blood of Jesus, by the mercy of God, I connect you to the seat, to your, to the seat of your wealth. In the name of Jesus, I connect you to the seat of your wealth, the seat that heaven has prepared for you, that another is occupying. Oh yes, I connect you to that seat and I, I remove the illegal occupants by the power in the blood of Jesus. The Bible says, Amen. <laughs> and he has slain oxen and fat cattle and sheep in abundance, and have called all the sons of the king, and Abiata the priest, and Joel the captain of the host. But Solomon the servant, he, he, was, he was celebrating what does not belong to him. I pray for you. Any power that is celebrating the position that they have captured and seized from you, I command their celebration to scatter. In the name of Jesus, any power that is celebrating, yes, the wealth and the riches that they have stolen from you, I command their celebration to scatter by the power in the blood of Jesus. Yes, they are celebrating, <laughs> they are jubilating on a position that does not belong to them, on a position that they stole. Any power that has stolen your position and celebrating, let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn them to ashes. In the name of Jesus, any power that has stolen your position, that has stolen your throne, that is now celebrating, let the Holy Ghost fire destroy them and their celebration. In the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost fire destroy them and their celebration. In the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost fire destroy them and their celebration. In the name of Jesus. I say the power of a praying mother can never be overemphasized. The power of a praying mother can never be overemphasized. I don't need that. I'd already collected the throne of Solomon. Solomon himself was just looking like a dollar. He couldn't do anything. I'm sure he himself was afraid. Now Adonijah is the new king. He has all the army. He has a lot of people around him. He could have instructed and go and kill Solomon. But the mother rose. Ah, the mother in Israel, like Esther rose on behalf of Israel when when Emma wanted to destroy Israel. Bathsheba rose on behalf of her son Solomon. She went to the king, even when the king did not request for her presence, and she went to confront the king. You are a mother. I will pray for you. I say, receive power. Receive the power that will rescue your son, that will rescue your daughter. In the name of Jesus, in this prayer meeting, receive the power that will rescue your son, that will rescue your daughter. In the name of Jesus, receive the power, the kind of power that Bathsheba had, that made her to be able to rescue the position, the throne of Solomon from the hand of Adonijah. Yes, I say receive that power. I say mother, I say pray mother, receive that power, receive that power, receive that power, receive that power, receive the power to recover the stolen throne and position of your children in the name of Jesus. If you are a mother in this prayer meeting, say, I receive power to recover the throne and the position, the stolen throne and position of my children by the power in the blood of Jesus. In this prayer meeting, I receive power, I receive power, I receive power, I receive power to recover the throne and the seat of my children by the power in the blood of Jesus. I receive power to recover cover the throne and the seat of my children, the dominion of, of my children, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I recover them, I recover them, I receive power, 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 to recover everything that has been stolen from the lives of my children, in the name of Jesus, oh yes, Adonijah stole the throne of Solomon, the mother rose up, and went to meet the king and said, no, this cannot happen. This is not the arrangement. This is not the covenant. As technically, it's like she was praying. You have been praying for your children. 
the God of Elijah will answer you by fire today. In the name of Jesus, every request that you have brought before the King of Kings, every request that you have brought before the King of Kings, just like Bathsheba brought a request before King Solomon, the Lord will answer you by fire. The Lord will answer you by fire. Every request, yes, that you have brought before the King of Kings in this prayer meeting concerning your sons and your daughter, they shall be answered by fire. They shall be granted by fire. They shall be answered by fire. They shall be granted by fire. They shall be answered by fire. They shall be granted by fire. They shall be answered by fire. They shall be granted by fire. They shall be answered by fire. They shall be granted by fire. They shall be answered by fire. They shall be granted by fire. They shall be answered by fire. They shall be granted by fire. They shall be answered by fire. They shall be granted by fire. Yes. The God that answered the request of Bathsheba before David. That God will answer your request in this prayer meeting concerning your sons and your daughters, concerning my sons and my daughters, in the mighty name of Jesus, concerning our sons and our daughters. I say the power of a praying mother can never be overemphasized. The intercessory ability of a mother is very important in the lives of their children. Hallelujah. Bathsheba rose in defense of her, soul, of her son Solomon and she turned the tide in his favor. I want you to raise up your two hands. Say, my father, in this prayer meeting, turn the tide in favor of my children by your mighty power. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my father, in this prayer meeting, I don't know what you are believing God for, for your children, but say, oh Lord, my father, turn the tide in favor of my children in this prayer meeting by your mighty power. Oh God of Elijah, the God that answered by fire, turn the tide in favor of my children in this prayer meeting. Turn the tide in favor of my family in this prayer meeting. In the name of Jesus, the God that answered by fire, the God of Elijah, the God of Abraham. Isaac and Jacob, the fourth man in the fire, the God that has the leg of brass, that has the, the hair of wool, that has the eyeballs of fire, that wears the garment of fire, turn the tide in favor of my children in this prayer meeting, turn the tide in the favor of my children, in the favor of my sons, in the favor of my daughters, in the favor of my family, in the favor of my wife, in my favor. Father, turn the tide in our favor by your mighty power in the name of Jesus. Everything that is going wrong right now. Let them begin to go right again by the power in the blood of Jesus. Everything that is going right wrong right now in the lives of your children, I command them to begin to go right again by the power in the blood of Jesus. They took this throne of Solomon and everything was going wrong. The long and short of that story was that if Solomon and her mother were not careful, I don't need that could slaughter them easily. That was the cross of the matter. That's why they say sometimes if you don't fight, the fight you don't fight may swallow you. The battle you don't fight may swallow you. Hallelujah. <laughs> the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I pray for you, the illegal occupants of your divine position shall vacate by fire. In the name of Jesus, in this prayer meeting, the illegal occupant of your divine positions shall vacate by fire, 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 shall vacate by fire. Yes, anyone illegally occupying the divine position that Jehovah has given to you, that Jehovah has given to your spouse, that Jehovah has given to your children. By the power and the blood of Jesus, they will vacate it by fire. In the name of Jesus, by the power and the blood of Jesus, they will vacate it by fire. Anyone that has taken over your husband, the husband that God has given to you, they will vacate that husband by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, anyone that has taken over the wife that Jehovah has given to you, they will vacate that wife by fire. In the name of Jesus, anyone that has taken over the business that Jehovah has given to you, they will vacate that business by fire. In the name of Jesus, anyone that has taken over the position, yes, in your career, that Jehovah has given to you, they will vacate that position by fire. They will vacate, yes, they use witchcraft power to collect your position. They forgot that Jesus is the, your Lord, is the Lord of your life. They are in trouble right now. They are in trouble right now. Anyone that has ever used voodoo, fetish power, witchcraft power to collect your position, let, the, let, let God, let the power of God begin to shame them, begin to disgrace them, begin to shame them, begin to disgrace them. 
begin to shame them, begin to disgrace them, begin to shame them, begin to disgrace them, begin to shame them, begin, yes, anyone that has used physical power to snatch your husband, to snatch your wife, to snatch your children, to snatch your job, oh yes, to snatch your career, to snatch your business, to snatch your investment, to snatch your finance, to even snatch your health. The Lord will disgrace them by his mighty power. The Lord will disgrace them by his mighty power. The Lord will disgrace them and destroy them. 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 The Lord will disgrace them and destroy them by his mighty power. In the name of Jesus. And don't need that was disgraced. And don't need became very small. <laughs> by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every Adon that is that is wrestling with your divine position shall be disgraced, shall be destroyed, shall be disgraced, shall be destroyed, shall be disgraced, shall be destroyed, shall be, yes, whether in your father's house, whether in your mother's house, whether in your place of bath, whether in your own house, whether in your place of work, whether in your neighborhood, any Adonijah that is wrestling with your divine position shall be disgraced, shall be destroyed, 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 shall be yes, every Adonijah, whosoever they may be, try to rescue that which Jehovah has given to you. The host of heaven will fight them. The Lord of hosts will fight them. The Lord of lords will fight them. The Lord of light will fight them. The head of the armies of heaven will fight them. The fourth man in the fire will fight them. The Lord that deep that deeps is 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 vesture in blood will fight them in the name of Jesus. The God with the sword of fire will fight them. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> I said, number one, what does it mean? Or what are the consequences? When the divine position of a man or a woman is transferred to another, what are the consequences? What does it mean? Or what are the consequences? When a man or a woman's divine position has been transferred to another, if you know what goes on in the spirit realm, you will sit down and weep. How they do trade by battle with the souls of men. The witchcraft powers. The witchcraft powers in a particular family, they will sit down. They will look at the people that have bright stars. The people that have glorious positions. That heaven has, that has divinely you know, allocated with the positions of wealth and riches. With the position of greatness. And they trade it. I pray for a brother looking at me right now. Any power trading with your divine position shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Any power that is trading with your divine position shall fall down and die. 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 Any power that is trading with your divine position, your divine position of wealth. Your divine position of riches, your divine position of greatness, your divine position of prosperity, they shall fall down and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. They will not live to see another day by the power in the blood of Jesus. They will not live to see another day by the power in the blood of Jesus. Just continue to share the prayer meeting. The Lord will continue to bless you. A lot of people, they have useless them. They have collected their position. They have collected their throne. They are kings without thrones. They are queens without thrones. Amen. <laughs> if you are a king and you don't have a throne, how do you operate? By all rights, they are kings. They are queens. Everyone has made them kings and queens. The Bible says we are a royal priesthood, a holy nation. They are kings and, and, and queens. But their throne has been taken away. Ah, help yourself. Say, powers that have taken away my throne. Hey, release it and die 
in the name of Jesus. Powers that have taken away my throne, release it and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Powers that have taken away my throne, release it and die in the name of Jesus. Release it and die in the name of This is a prayer you need to pray very well. It's not a joking matter. This prayer is different from other prayers. You are a king. You are a queen. But your throne has been transferred. Your throne has been stolen. Your throne has been taken away. No wonder you are a king without portfolio. You are a king without relevance. You are a king without authority. You are a king without power. You are a king without wealth. Yes, you are a king, but what will give you power? Is it true? Hallelujah. Is it true? The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at England now. They are talking about Prince Charles, Prince Charles, Prince Charles. But until he sits on the throne, he cannot become the king. <laughs> Even though he has the status of a king, he is the son of a queen. Until he steps on the throne, he cannot become a king. He cannot exercise the power and the authority of a king. You are looking at me right now. That is why you have joined this prayer meeting. I beg you, pray very well. Your throne has been stolen. Your position has been taken away. Another man is using it. Any man or woman that is using my throne be arrested by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any man or woman that is using my throne, that is using my wife's throne, that is using my children's throne, be arrested by the power in the blood of Jesus. Be arrested by the power in the blood of Jesus. Be arrested by the power in the blood of Jesus. Be arrested by the power in the blood of Jesus. Ah, people have come to me for counseling. Their own brothers, their own brothers stole their throne. Their own sisters stole their throne. They went to a witch doctor. The witch doctor did abracadabra and changed positions. And someone that was supposed to be getting all the wealth, all the accolades, all the awards, all the rewards, that is supposed to be the one that is the benefactor. Everybody will depend on her, depend on him. It's now depending on others. Because a throne has been taken away. Hallelujah. So I say, what are the consequences <laughs> of what we are talking about now? So that you can pray very well. So that sometimes, you know, somebody is suffering sometimes, but they don't know. People are just praying any general prayer. Any, 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 let my people go prayer. Those days when we were in the university, there's a there's a degree a degree a degree called let my people go third class or pass a degree pass or third class they say let my people go so people are like that spiritually what they have in their hands is let my people go meanwhile they have first class everyone has given them first class everyone has given them first class throne first class position first class wealth first class riches but those that have more power took their first class and gave them let my people go. Third class pass. And they are struggling. Struggling. Struggling to pay bills. Struggling to pay mortgage. Struggling to pay rent. Struggling to even feed. Struggling. Credit card debt. Hey, it's another man mountain. Ah, the Lord will change your story this afternoon. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Because all you need for this suffering to end is for your position to be restored back to you. Eh? God has made you, you are looking at me, eyeball to eyeball. You are a CEO of a blue chip company. A CEO. That is what I can see. But right now, a four man is better than you. A gate man is better than you. Ah, what in by They have collected your position. Every power that gather together to collect your position, they will release it and they will scatter in the name of Jesus. They will release it, they will scatter in the name of Jesus. They will release it, they will scatter in the name of Jesus. Every power 
that has gathered together to capture your position, to capture your throne. I command them to release it and scatter in the name of Jesus. Release it and scatter. 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 In the name of the Lord, if they don't release it, you will only continue to plan and plot. Nothing. Because, look, every position has a level. Just like first class, second class, upper, second class, lower, third class, past, faith, they have different levels. Which means there are things you can achieve with a first class certificate that third class can never get or past can never get. So if you are a first class candidate and they have relegated you eh, to ordinary pass, of course, all the benefits of first class that you are meant to get, you can never get them on third class seats. Hey! I pray for you. Every power that has relegated your position, let the thunder of God slaughter them. In the name of Jesus, every power that has relegated your position, let the thunder of God slaughter them. In the name of Jesus, every power that has relegated my position, be slaughtered by thunder, 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 be slaughtered by thunder. In the name of every power that has relegated my position, that has relegated my position, my wife's position, that has relegated my children's position, be slaughtered. By tongue that be fucked up, by tongue that be fucked up, by tongue that in the name of Jesus. You don't understand. You don't understand. It's like looking for the benefits of a five star hotel in a one star hotel. It will never happen. You are looking for the benefits eh, of a five star hotel in a one star hotel. Uh -huh. They said. The soup that is sweet, it is money that produces it. Hallelujah. The Lord will change your story. The Lord will change your story. Somebody say you are managing. That is not what God has commissioned for your life. You are not, no, you are not supposed to manage. You are supposed to manage people, not manage wealth, not manage money. No, you are supposed to manage people. Yes, today, I will promote you by the power. In the blood of Jesus, I will promote you by the power. In the blood of Jesus, I will promote you by the power. In the blood of Jesus, I will promote you by the power. In the blood of Jesus, I will promote you by the power. In the blood of Jesus, I will promote you by the power. In the blood of Jesus, I will promote you by the power. In the blood of Jesus, I will promote you by the power. In the blood of Jesus, I will promote you by the power. In the blood of Jesus, I will promote you by the power. On this prayer platform, I will promote you by the power. In the blood of Jesus, I will promote you by the power. In the blood of Jesus. That's why you see the employer begging for a job like as an employee. Your position has been taken away. Your throne has been captured. The blood of Jesus that overcomes the enemy will recover that position for you today. In the name of Jesus. I say the blood of Jesus that overcame the enemy will recover your stolen position for you in the name of Jesus. You need that position to become anything in life. As long as you are not sitting on that position, as long as your soul man is not sitting on that position, you cannot become wealthy. You cannot become rich. You cannot even have wisdom. Because until Solomon climbed the throne, he didn't have wealth, he didn't have wisdom, did they have riches? You can see what that position means to you. When they transfer a man or a woman's position to another, they have finished the person. They have buried that person technically. Because it is a luxurious position. It is a position that, that is attached you know, to wealth and riches. But somebody else is living. That's why the Bible says the servant is riding on the horse and the prince is walking barefooted. Which means the, the prince is suffering. No mobility for the prince and is the owner of the mobility. Horses in biblical days were like Bentley, Bugatti, and Rolls Royce. Those days. You can imagine in, in the modern day, eh, a billionaire has a Bugatti. But he's a, 
his, his gate man is the one enjoying the Bugatti while he himself is walking around, walking barefooted. That's what it means. What God has given you, somebody else is enjoying it. I pray for somebody here. What God has given you that another is enjoying under the influence of demonic power. Let them release it now and die in the name of Jesus. Let them release it now and die in the name of Jesus. Let them release it now and die in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is enjoying your benefits, anyone that is enjoying your divine position, anyone that is enjoying your divine throne, anyone that has seized the horse of your destiny and is riding it and you are walking barefooted, let them release it by fire. 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 In the name of God. Yes, because the horse you are going to ride to greatness. Somebody else is riding it to greatness. The horse that you are meant to ride to the mountain top. Somebody else is riding it on the mountain top. Meanwhile, you are still a bottom dweller. The Lord will rescue you by his mighty power. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will rescue you by his mighty power. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will rescue you by his mighty power. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will rescue you by his mighty power. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will rescue you by his mighty power. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will rescue me. Continue to say to yourself, the Lord will rescue me by his mighty power. In the name of Jesus, I am tired of being a bottom dweller. I am a mountain top candidate. My wife and my children, my family and my descendants, we are mountain top candidates. Hold on, my father, rescue me by your hand of power. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, rescue me by your hand of power. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, rescue me by your might of my hand, your hand of power. In the name of Lord, I need to be rescued, oh Lord, just the same way Solomon was rescued from the hand of Adonijah. Father, rescue me in this prayer meeting. The same way the throne of Solomon was rescued from the hand of Adonijah. Father, rescue my throne from the hand of the wicked by your mighty power. Father, rescue my throne from the hand of the weekend by your mighty power in the name of Jesus. Sometimes you are supposed to be a manager, a director, a supervisor in your place of work. But those that have the money powers or bottom power, they take over the position. But spiritually speaking, that position has been allocated to you. But those that can enchant, those that can release divination, divination through their bottom power, they collect it from you. Yes, because there are some directors, when bottom power is facing them, they begin to somersault, they begin to stammer. Hallelujah. And they give what belongs to you to another. Ah, the Lord will rescue you by his mighty power. Let's go to Esther chapter 1 verse 19 so that we can see what it means. What are the consequences of a man or a woman's position being transferred to another? This is practical Christianity. This is practical life. Hallelujah. In Esther chapter 1 verse 19, something strange happened. King, King Lazarus wanted to celebrate his birthday. It was birthday. This birthday thing, God will help us. Too. It was birthday that King Herod was celebrating that the the, the neck of uh, of John the Baptist was cut off. Amen. It was birthday that King Lazarus was celebrating that Vashti lost her position. Hey, birthdays. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. <laughs> May you never celebrate the birthday that will destroy your destiny. In the name of Jesus. May you never celebrate the birthday that will destroy your destiny. In the name of Jesus. But sometimes <laughs> you are going to celebrate birthday for somebody, but you didn't know that they have technically invited you for witchcraft initiation. They have technically, in that place, you are the only one that is not a witch. Every other person is a witch and a wizard. And the moment you enter into the party, and they are taking notes and say, I do, I will, I do, I will. And you don't know what you are doing and you are willing to. And before you know what is happening, you are already flying. You are a blind witch. But this. But this. Thank God for coronavirus. At least a lot of people are sitting in their houses now. Yes, now we have virtual but this. Where we will only see ourselves through the screen. And we drink in our houses and eat chicken. 
eh, on behalf of the celebrants. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. It was birthday that was celebrated that the king, the head of John the Baptist, was cut off. It was birthday that was celebrated that Christy lost that position. Hallelujah. Let us read. Let us read the Bible. Esther chapter 1. <laughs> Even though I wanted to read from verse 19. Amen. But let, let me. Esther chapter 1. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. Let me go to. Uh -huh. That is Esther chapter 1 from verse 10. On the seventh day, when the heart amen, of the king was merry with wine, he commanded Mehuma, Bista, Habona, Dicta, and Abaga, Zeta, and Kakas, the seven chamberlains that sat in the presence of Isaiah the king, to bring Vashti the queen before the king with the crown royal to show the people and the princes her beauty, for she was fair to look on. Praise the Lord. Amen. But the queen Vashti refused to come at the king's commandment by his chamberlains. Therefore was the king very wroth, and his anger burned against him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So verse 19, the Bible says, It pleased the king. <laughs> if it pleased the king, because she had refused, she didn't dance. Now, the, the king now asked for advice. What do I do for this disobedient wife? And it was said to him, If it pleased the king, let there go a royal commandment from him, and let it be written among the laws of the passions and the medes, that it be not altered, that Vashti come not come no more before King Azeros, and let the king give a royal estate unto another that is better than she. Let the king give a royal estate unto another that is better than she. Which means a man or a woman's estate can be transferred to another while they are still alive. I pray for you. Any power that is spiritually transferring your estate to another while you are still alive shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Any power that is transferring your estate, that is transferring your position, that is transferring your throne, that is transferring your wealth, that is transferring your riches while you are still alive. They shall fall down and die. You shall attend their burial in the name of Jesus. They shall fall down and die. You shall attend their burial in the name of Jesus. They shall fall down and die. You shall attend their burial in the name of Jesus. They shall fall down and die. They sh yes, yes. They can see you in wealth. They can see you in riches. They can see you in greatness. And they are jealous of you. They are jealous of you. And you know the irony? When you become wealthy, when you become rich, they will be the first to partake, to benefit from you, their benefactor. But out of envy, they say, no, you cannot have that position. You cannot have that too. How can they be? Oh, you will be rich in this place. You will be wealthy in this place. Ah, any power that is saying you will not be wealthy in your father's house. They shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Any power that is saying you will not be rich, that you will not be wealthy in your father's house, they shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Any power that is saying I will not be rich, that I will not be wealthy in my father's house, in my mother's house, in my in law's house, in my place of birth, in this land of America, ah, they shall fall down and die by the power and the blood of Jesus. They shall fall down and die by the power and the blood of Jesus. They shall fall down and die by the power and the blood of Jesus. Yes! Every power 
that wants you to toil for nothing shall be wasted by thunder. In the name of Jesus, every power that wants you to toil for nothing, they shall be wasted by thunder. 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 Every power that wants you to toil for nothing, they shall be wasted by the thunder fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, they shall be wasted by the thunder fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Yes, is that position that is making them to be angry. Is that position, is that throne that Jehovah has placed you? That's why they are attacking your marriage. That's why they are attacking your husband. That's why they are attacking your wife. That's why they are attacking your children. They are just attacking all those ones out of envy because of the throne that Jehovah has given to you. Any power, anywhere, attacking you. Because of the throne that Jehovah has given to you, they shall suddenly fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, any power that is attacking you because of the throne that Jehovah has given to you, because of the position that Jehovah has given to you, they shall suddenly fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, they shall suddenly fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, they shall suddenly fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, they shall suddenly fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, they shall suddenly fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, they shall suddenly fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, they shall suddenly fall down. In the name of Jesus, they shall suddenly fall down there. In the name of Jesus, they shall suddenly fall down there. In the name of raise your voice, raise your voice. Yes, any power attacking me, attacking my wife, attacking my children because of the position that Jehovah has given to me, because of the throne that Jehovah has given to me. Fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, fall down and die. They shall fall down and die. They are attacking your children because of the position that Jehovah gave to you. Is it your fault that you are greater than them? Is it your fault that you are richer than them? Is it your fault that you travel more than them? Hallelujah. You can come through the same bath canal, but your destinies are not the same. Your lives are not the same. The finger of the hand, they are five. They are in the same hand, but they are not, they are not equal. Everybody is the same. Everybody is different and unique in their own way. They will not take time to find out what God has in stock for them, but they will be envious of another. And because they have wicked powers, they continue to transfer what belongs to another. You know, they will to, to transfer people's blessings to another. The wrath of God will fall upon them. In the name of Jesus. The wrath of God will fall upon them. Anyone that is wickedly transferring your position to another. Anyone that is wickedly attacking you and attacking your, your family because of your position, because of your throne. Ah, the wrath of God will overshadow them. 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 I say the wrath of God will overshadow them. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, Amen, that let Vashti's position be given to another that is better than her. I said Vashti's position, Vashti's throne. Vashti's estate was given to Esther. She was stripped of her royal status. You are here, you are a royalty. Every witchcraft power, every witchcraft power, every witchcraft power that wants to strip you of your royal status shall fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, every witchcraft power, every occultic power, every marine power, every Serpental power, every idol power that wants to strip you of your royal status, they shall fall down and die. They shall fall down and die. They shall fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, what is a royal status? You know, that's one of the positions we are talking about. It does not necessarily mean that you'll be a physical king. You are a king over a village. No. A royal status is that wherever you go, you shall be treated as a king. Wherever you go, you shall be treated as a queen. Wherever you go, you shall be treated, yes, as a prince, as a princess. Ah, see, 
I wear the garment of royalty by fire. Everywhere I go from today, I shall be treated as a royalty. In the name of Jesus, I, my wife, and my children, we are the garment of royalty by fire. Everywhere we go from today, we shall be treated as kings, as princes, as queens, and princesses. In the name of Jesus, everywhere I go from today, men will worship me. Men will bow down to me. Men will worship my family. Men will bow down to my family. In the name of Jesus, everywhere I go, my I shall be handled as a royalty. I shall be treated as a king by the power in the blood of Jesus. Anywhere my name is mentioned, anywhere my wife's name is mentioned, anywhere my children's names are mentioned, we shall be treated with royalty by the power in the blood of Jesus. We shall be treated with royalty by the power in the blood of Jesus. We shall be treated as royalties by the power in the blood of Jesus. After all, the Bible says we are a royal priesthood. Because you belong to Jesus. You are a royal priesthood. You better, you better recognize your own identity. And stop going about like a beggar. Stop going about like a gate man. The God that transformed the life of Mordecai from being a gate man to the second in command of the king. That God will transform your life in this prayer meeting. In the name of Jesus. That God will transform your life in this prayer meeting. How can a bread giver be a bread beggar? Somebody is here. I'm looking at you. You are a bread giver. You are not a bread beggar. Why? They took away your position. The position of a bread giver was taken away. The position of a bread beggar was given to you. Ah, let power change hands in this meeting. Let the position be reversed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let the position be reversed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let the position, yes, you are looking at me right now. They took away the position of a bread giver from you. And they gave you the position of a bread beggar. All those that gather to do that atrocity, they shall fall down and die one by one. In the name of Jesus, all those that gather to do that atrocity in your life, they shall fall down and die one by one. In the name of Jesus, all those that gather together to, 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 to take away your position of a bread giver, and they gave you the position of a bread beggar. Naurika, Raika Saira Kuria, wherever they may be, the, 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 the rot of God will swallow them. 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 Yes, the powers that have converted you from a bread giver to a bread beggar. The thunder of God will stop them. In the name of Jesus, it is the height of wickedness. How can they turn a, a, a giver to a beggar? Malika Surya, Abraham Sekete, any ground they are standing upon right now. Those that did this wicked, this wickedness in your life, let it open up and swallow them. In the name of Jesus, let it open up and swallow them. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name, pray. What does it mean? For a man's position to be transferred to another. The Bible says, Vashti, you know, I say Vashti was cut off the benefits and the laws of her position. She was cut off. They say she will no more come to the king. She was cut off from the benefits and the laws of her position. You are here this afternoon. You have been cut off from the benefits and the laws of your divine position, the Lord will restore it back to you. Before you leave this prayer meeting, the Lord will restore it back to you. In the name of Jesus, before you leave this prayer meeting, the Lord will restore it back to you. In the name of Jesus, before you leave this prayer meeting, the Lord will restore it back to you. The alias and the benefits of your divine position, of your divine throne, that were taken away from you, the blood of Jesus will recover it. And give it back to you. The blood of Jesus will cover it. 
and they give it back to you. The blood of Jesus will recover it and give it back to you. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus will recover it and give it back to you. No, you are not created to suffer. I say the blood of Jesus will recover it and give it back to you. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus will recover it and give it back to you. In the name of Jesus, I say the blood of Jesus will recover all the benefits, all the alias of your position that they are cut off from your life, that they are cut off from your destiny, that witchcraft powers, occultic powers, barren powers, serpentine powers, idol powers, false prophets cut off from your life. Oh, Recovered by the power in the blood of Jesus. Recovered by the power in the blood of Jesus. Recovered by the power in the blood of Jesus. The world of wickedness, where a parent can transfer the position, the divine position of one child to another child. The world of wickedness. Where a husband can use a spiritual power to transfer the divine position of his wife to his own life. Or where a wicked wife can transfer the position of a husband to her own life. You will see some husband complaining. They say, my wife has used my virtue. Some wives are complaining. My husband has used my virtue. This is what it means. It means their divine position has been transferred, has been taken over, has been captured. So all the benefits are supposed to come to them. All their laws, all the rewards, all their awards, all the blessings that are supposed to come to them is now going to the, the transferee. <laughs> I think that's what they call it. The transferee. Hallelujah. The Lord will rescue you. I know that is your position. Yes, you are here. The wicked spouse you married has taken over your divine position. But the Lord will rescue you in this primate by his mighty power. You have left him now, you have left her now. But you see, you only left your spouse, your, your husband, your wife. The divine position they collected from you, they didn't release it. But recover it back now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Recover it now by the power in the blood of Jesus. That divine position, that, that wicked husband, that wicked wife, use fetish power, voodoo power, or quantity power to collect from you. Recover it now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Recover it now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Recover it now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Recover it now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Recover it now by the power. In the blood of Jesus. I say the position was no longer connected to her name. Ah, every divine position, every divine truth that the enemy has disconnected from your name, I reconnect it now by the power in the blood of Jesus. I reconnect it now. You are supposed to be the chief, the chief executive officer of a blue chip company, but that company has been attached to. Another person's name, I recover it now. Yes, every position, every throne, yes, that has been disconnected from your name and connected to another, I reconnect, I reconnect you back to that position, to that throne in the name of Jesus. I reconnect you back. That promotion that they took away from you and gave to another, I reconnect you back to that position. The man or woman that is sitting on your promotion, that is occupying your promotion, I say, let them lose it by fire. It doesn't belong to them. Let them lose it by fire. It doesn't belong to them. Let them lose it by fire. It doesn't belong to them. Let them lose it by fire. It doesn't belong to them. Let them lose it. Yes, collect back your promotion by the power in the blood of Jesus. They are doing man no man. They are doing because we belong to the same court. Because we belong to the same society. What belongs to you, they gave it to their member. Let the fire of God begin to burn them now. In the name of Jesus, somebody said that is your story. They put whosoever did that. Let the fire of God begin to burn their bottom. In the name of Jesus, let their seat catch fire. Let their seat catch fire. Let their seat catch fire. Let their, yes, your seat that they are sitting on. That
Let it catch fire under their bottom in the name of Jesus. Let it catch fire under their bottom in the name of Jesus. Yes, every power sitting on your seat of promotion, let their bottom catch fire in the name of Jesus. Let their bottom catch fire in the name of Jesus. Let them become uncomfortable on that seat. The seat does not belong to them. It is your seat. Yes, receive that seat. Recover that seat. Recover that seat. That seat of promotion. Recover it by the power in the blood of Jesus. Recover it. Oh, yes. The wickedness going on in the world. Transferring your throne, your position to another. Somebody is here. Everywhere you went in your life, that's what they, are, they always do to you. You will walk like a donkey. And those that have not lifted their finger to do anything, they are the one enjoying your sweat. I pray from today, all those that are enjoying your sweat, Huh? Through diabolic means, let the sweat become fire and burn them in the name of Jesus. Let the sweat become fire and burn them in the name of Jesus. Let the sweat become fire and burn them in the name of Jesus. Let the sweat become fire and burn them in the name of Jesus. Let the sweat become fire and burn them. All those that are using diabolic powers, witchcraft powers, occultic powers, marine powers. Serpentine powers, idol powers, witch doctor powers, herbalist powers to enjoy your sweat. Let the sweat turn to fire and begin to burn them in the name of Jesus. Let the sweat turn to fire and begin to burn them in the name of Jesus. Let the sweat turn to fire and begin to burn them. You are going to pray for yourself now. Anyone using diabolic means to enjoy my sweat, will my sweat become fire and begin to burn them in the name of Jesus. My sweat become fire and begin to burn them in the name of Jesus. My sweat become fire and begin to burn them in the name of Jesus. My sweat become fire and begin to burn them in the name of Jesus. My Sweat, become fire, and begin to burn them in the name of Jesus. I thank God that brought you to this meeting because your story is changing today. The power of prayer, the power of prophecy is changing your story today. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. It said, Believe in his prophets. And you shall prosper. You are going to be established from today. You are going to prosper from today. Because I know you have believed God and you have believed his prophets. Oh yes. Nothing is wrong with you. You don't have any spiritual disability. All that happened was that they stole your position. And your life has been a shambles. Look at Vashti. They collected a throne. They collected a position. They gave it to another that is better than her. Which means everything she has ever enjoyed as a royalty expired. I pray for you. Every Vashti that is occupying the position of Leicester, let that occupation expire. In the name of Jesus, every Vashti that is occupying the position, the throne of your Esther, I'm praying for a sister right now. Every Vashti that is occupying the throne of your Esther, let that throne expire on them. In the name of Jesus, let that throne expire on them. In the name of Jesus, let them expire on the throne. Uh -huh. That's a better prayer. See any Vashti occupying the throne of my destiny. Any Vashti occupying the throne of my Esther, expire on the throne by the power in the blood of Jesus. Expire on the throne by the power in the blood of Jesus. Sometimes it can be a witchcraft, a witchcraft alone that is occupying it. There are some witchcraft alone. They'll be using the blood of their daughter in laws of their son in laws to renew their own lives. Uh, a lot of terrible things that are happening. That's why we are warning all our singles, all our spacers and bachelors, be very careful where you put your head. You enter a family, they begin to use your blood to fertilize their own life. 
They begin to take your virtues and your potentials to fertilize their own destiny. A sister is looking at me right now. You have entered one chance. But I pray for you. Every power that is using your blood to renew their life, they shall fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, every power using your blood to renew their life, to renew, to renew their wealth, to renew their greatness, to renew their power, they shall fall down and die. 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 Any power that is drinking your blood in order to stay alive, they shall fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, I pray for sister right now. Any power that is drinking your blood in order to remain alive, in order to remain powerful, they shall fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, they shall fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, any power drinking your blood in order to remain alive, in order to remain powerful, I command them to die. 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 In the name of Jesus, somebody say, I pray for you. Any power drinking the blood of your children in order to become prosperous. Any power that is drinking the blood of your children in order to become prosperous. They shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus. They shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus. They shall fall down and die. Any power that is drinking the blood of your children in order to remain prosperous, in order to remain famous, in order to remain rich, in order to remain wealthy, they shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus. They shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus. The blood of your children that they are drinking will cry against them in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, a sister is here. The blood of your children that they are drinking, that the enemy is drinking, will cry against. The enemy in the name of Jesus, the blood of your children will cry against the enemy in the name of Jesus. The blood of your children will cry against the enemies in the name of Jesus. The blood of your children, the same way the blood of Abel cried against Cain, his own brother. So sometimes it's our own blood relative. Then came the blood of your children. Anyone in your father's house, anyone in your mother's house, anyone in your inner house that is drinking the blood of your children in order to remain alive, in order to remain young and fresh, they shall fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, the blood of your children will cry against them, and they shall fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, the blood of your children will cry against them, and they shall fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, the blood of your children will cry against them, and they shall fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, yes, that is transferring. They are even transferring people's lives. To their own life. See some old men. They are supposed to have died and and decay inside the grave. They are marrying young young girls. And young young girls too that do, do, don't have sense. The old man that you are marrying for his money. The old woman that you are marrying for her money. And what are they marrying you for? You think it's just for sex. You are deceiving yourself. Majority of them Maybe not all of them. Majority of them are using your blood to renew their blood. They are using your divine throne to renew their own throne. They are using your divine position to renew their own divine position. That is what you say by merely saying they are using my virtue. They are using my potential. What they are using is more than your virtue. What they are using is more than your potential. The divine position the divine allocation that God gave to you, that is what they are using. Any such power shall be exposed, shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. I say, Vashti lost everything by virtue of losing a, a position. When you lose your divine position, you lose everything. That's why you say a lot of people are losers. They lost their divine position. The enemy transferred their divine position to another. And they lost everything. They lost marriage. They lost home. They lost husband. They lost wife. They lost children. They lost career. They lost job. They lost business. They lost investment. They even lost their senses. Because when trouble is too much, sometimes somebody will begin to have a little, little insanity. They will be depressed. They will no longer know what they do. Because their position has been given to another. The Lord will rescue you this afternoon by his mighty power. I say the Lord will rescue you. I don't know how you came to this prayer meeting today. One person here, you, are not, you didn't even want to come. But the Holy Spirit was saying, hey, hey, don't miss that prayer meeting. That was why you came. 
and you look at it now, your story has already changed. Because all that your destiny has been looking for, for the past 35 years, is for your position to be restored back. You have been beaten and by the bush, praying the prayer that never helped your destiny for the first time in forever. You have prayed the prayer that hit the nail on the head. My stolen position be recovered by fire in the name of Jesus. My stolen position be recovered by fire in the name of Jesus. My stolen position be recovered by fire in the name of Jesus. My stolen position, every position that has been stolen from me due to sin, due to disobedience, due to transgression, due to iniquity, due to any covenant, due to any curse, be recovered by the power in the blood of Jesus. Be recovered by the power in the blood of Jesus. Be recovered by the power in the blood of Jesus. Be recovered by the power in the blood of Jesus. You see, when you talk about deliverance, this is, this is one deep deliverance. Where well, all that is happening to you is that your position was taken away. Because when your divine position is taken away, the husband, the wife that is allocated to that position, and it is the people that are now occupying the position that will have the husband, that will have the wife. The children that are occupied to that position that are attached to that position, yes, will be taken over by the illegal occupants. The wealth and the riches. You see, sometimes it is the throne, it is the position that all these benefits are attached to. And the moment you are displaced from it, nothing for you. Vashti lost everything. So she will no longer come to the palace. So which means even her bed chamber in the palace has been given to another. She probably go and look for one shanty structure somewhere. Because nobody recommends with her. Once you are the enemy of the king, you are the enemy of the whole nation. <coughs> Praise the Lord. I say, even your life is not safe when anyone is occupying what divinely belongs to you. Even your life. Because they want to kill you. The reason why armed robbers kill their victims is because they don't want the victims to go looking for the car they are stolen from them or from any property they are stolen from them. That's why they kill. If they can be assured that when they steal from you, you will not come looking for them or go to the police, they will spare your life. But they know that when they steal something from you, that thing does not belong to them. And they know that as long as you are alive, you are going to be running after them. That is why they kill you at the slightest of opportunity. So in 1 Kings chapter 1, verse 11 to 12, the Bible says, Wherefore Nathan spake unto Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, saying, As thou not had that Adonijah, the son of Agith, doth reign, and David, our Lord, knoweth it not. Now therefore come, let me, I pray thee, give thee counsel that thou may save thy own life and the life of thy son. Look at what Prophet Nathan told Bathsheba there. <laughs> said, I want to give you one counsel in this whole matter. If you are not careful, yourself and your son Solomon shall be buried. When you lose your position, you can lose your life. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And thou, thou, my Lord, O King, the eyes of all Israel are upon thee, that thou should tell them, I mean, that's verse 20 to 21 now. And thou, my Lord, O King, the eyes of all Israel are upon thee, that thou should tell them who shall sit on the throne of, thy, of my Lord the King after him. Otherwise, it shall come to pass when my Lord the King shall sleep with his fathers, that I, and my son Solomon shall be counted offenders. When you lose your position, when you lose your throne, when you lose your land, the illegal occupiers of that throne, of that position, of that land, they will see you as an offender. They will see you as a criminal. What? Because they will think you are like them. And you also want to forcefully recover that which belongs to you. 
That's why anywhere in the world where they are forcefully taking anybody's land, they are always on the defensive, protecting themselves, killing anybody that they see as a threat, killing anybody that they think is also coming to steal the same position, the same throne, or the same land from them. That's why you see sometimes people are carrying guns to protect what they are stolen. The only reason why an armed robber is carrying a gun is because he wants to use the gun to protect what he has stolen. How many times have you been to the market? How many times have you gone to the market, you bought a car, or you bought furniture, or you bought a house, and you now start buying a gun to protect the house, or to protect the car? No, you don't, pro you don't begin to protect what you bought with your money, because you know that nobody is going to be claiming that you stole it from them, and they want to forcefully take it away from you, apart from the arm robbers. But when you are a robber, and you steal something, whether it is property, whether it is land, whether it is car, whether it is position, whether it is throne, you will need a gun to protect it. Because you are a robber. And you are also scared that the way you robbed and collected what you collected, other people may come and rob you and also collect it. So you see, when you lose your position, you may also lose your life. That's why people are having terrible dreams. When they have transferred your position to another in the spirit realm, the next thing they want to do is to bury you physically. To make sure you don't exist. So that you don't go to mountain of fire, or go to this place, or go to that place and go and be praying against them. You want to kill them. Hallelujah. This is the narrative around the world. Anyone occupying what does not belong to them will always try to oppress and destroy the rightful owners. Somebody is here. You are the rightful owner. It is you, heaven gave it to. I don't know what it is. But every robber that has stolen from you what heaven gave to you and is trying to kill you in order to protect what they stole from you, they will kill themselves by the power in the blood of Jesus. They will kill themselves by the power in the blood of Jesus. They will kill themselves by the power in the blood of Jesus. They will kill themselves by the power in the blood of Jesus. They will kill themselves by the power in the blood of Jesus. They will kill themselves by the power in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. I say the reason because they know that as long as the owner is alive, the stolen position is not secured. Some persons are holding on to what belongs to you right now. They don't want you, they don't want you, they don't want you, and want to destroy you because you are a threat to them as long as you live. Amen. I see number two. I say some wicked men and women have the power to transfer a man or a woman's position to another. How do they do it? They have power. Amen. If you read that story very well again, in 1 Kings, I read from chapter 1, verse 5 to 8. 1 Kings chapter 1, verse 5 to 8. Then Adonijah, look at the way he did it. The way he collected the throne. Even from his own father, not even so long. The father was still alive. The father was still the active king. It was not that he was old and weak. And of course, Abisad was, was, was servicing him there. The young damsel was servicing him there to keep him warm. David was still the king. When Adonijah went to go and, you know, double cross, every power that is trying to double cross you, they shall somersault and die. In the name of Jesus, every power that is trying to double cross you, whether physically or spiritually, they shall somersault and die. In the name of Jesus, every power that is trying to double cross you, whether physically or spiritually, to collect what belongs to you, they shall somersault and die by the power in the blood of Jesus. They shall somersault and die by the power in the blood of somebody here. They are always double crossing you to collect what belongs to you. They collect your fiance, they collect your husband, they collect your wife, they collect your business. They, every power that is always double 
will cross in you. In order to collect what belongs to you, they shall so much and die. Now that the fire of the Holy Ghost has entered into your life, they shall so much and die. In the name of Jesus, they shall so much and die. In the name of the, every power that is always double crossing you, in order to steal what belongs to you, in order to capture what belongs to you, in order to seize what belongs to you, they shall so much and die. By the power in the blood of Jesus, they shall so much and die. For in Jesus' name we pray. Then I know that the son of Agit exalted himself, saying, I will be the king. He exalted himself. He is not a king. He exalted himself. Saying, I will be the king. And he prepared him chariots and horsemen, and fifty men to run before him. And his father had not displeased him at any time in saying, Why hast thou done so? Of course, the father was very weak, was very old and tired. The man could not even leave his bed. And he also, and that is one of the things, the enemy strike when you are the weakest. Who, who, dares, who dares to look at the lion in the eyeball when King David was King David? He couldn't. But he waited for King David when he was very old and tired. When, in fact, he needed a woman to warm him up, to put, to put heat in his body. He couldn't do anything anymore. That was when Adonijah struck. Every Adonijah that is striking at your weakest, ah, the fire of God will destroy them. In the name of Jesus, every Adonijah that is striking at your weakest, the fire of God will destroy them. In the name of Jesus, every Adonijah that is striking at your weakest, at your weakest point, the fire of the Holy Ghost will burn them to ashes. The fire of the Holy Ghost will burn them to ashes. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and he also was a very goodly man, and his mother bare him after Absalom. And of course, uh, he was also as handsome like Absalom. Praise the Lord. And he confined with Joah, the son of Zeru. Look at his conspirators. Look at his conspirators. The Bible says, and he confined with Joah, the son of Zeruai, and with Abiata, the priest. And they, and they, following Adonijah, helped him. All the conspirators of darkness that have gathered together in order to steal your position, the thunder of God will slaughter them and will scatter them. In the name of Jesus, all the conspirators of darkness that have gathered together in order to steal your position, in order to steal your throne, in order to steal your wealth, in order to steal your riches, in order to steal your fame, the thunder of God will slaughter them and will scatter them in the name of Jesus. The thunder of God will slaughter them and will scatter them in the name of Jesus. The thunder of God will slaughter them and will scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at Zeruai, Abiata. Amen. The priest went to go and help an illegal occupant. Anyone helping anyone that is illegally occupying your position. Sometimes, because a mother-in-law hates her daughter-in-law, she will encourage her son to go and get a strange woman to occupy the position of that daughter-in-law. Somebody is looking at me. Your mother-in-law is encouraging a strange woman to take your position in the house of your husband. The wrath of God will fall upon them in the name of Jesus. That's wickedness. The wrath of God will fall upon them. Yes, she is the mother but she doesn't have the right to go and choose a strange woman to take your position. Any mother-in-law that is encouraging her son to take a strange woman to replace you in your husband's house, the wrath of God will fall upon them in the name of Jesus. Except if you are the one that called for it by yourself. Maybe you are misbehaving. Maybe you are nasty. Maybe you are wicked. Yes, if that is the case, 
they may be justified in what they are doing, no matter how wrong it may be. But when you are a child of God, and you are praying to God, and you have the, the character of Jesus, and you are even pleading with her, Mommy, don't do this. I said, No, because she has witchcraft power. She's calling strange woman to come and take your position in your husband's house. The wrath of God will follow her in the name of Jesus. The anger of God will follow her in the name of Jesus. Oh yes. And that strange woman too, the fire of God will drive her away in the name of the strange affliction. The next time she sleeps with her husband, yes, the semen of your husband will become a strange affliction in her body. And her hormones, yes, her immune system, we begin to fight our own cells. We begin to fight our own tissues. We begin to fight our own organs in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Whenever the semen of your husband goes into the body of the strange woman, let the semen become fire in her body and begin to burn her in the name of Jesus. Let her know that no one touches Sarah, the wife of Abraham. No one. In Jesus' name. Father, we just bless your holy name. I think we are going to stop here today. We just thank you. We just bless you. We have had the reason why some people are suffering right now. You didn't create them to suffer. But the enemy has done this. The enemy has sold their divine position to another. The enemy has transferred their divine position to another. Father, we have heard your word. We are powerless in this matter. We don't have the power of our own. Oh Lord, step into this matter. In the name of Jesus. If you are here and something is telling you that, but well, this pastor is talking about me. And your divine position, your divine throne has been given to another. What can you do? In order to recover it. Because your life is dependent on that recovery. Without the recovery of your stolen position, without the recovery of your transferred uh, 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 throne, you may never amount to anything in life. Because it is that throne that will advertise you. Because it is that throne, that stolen throne, that transferred throne, yes, that will make you great. So what can you do? To get your throne back. To get your position back. Like Solomon and, and his mother did. They went to the king. Bathsheba didn't have the power. Solomon didn't have the power. At that particular junction, junction, they were, they were, they were powerless. But despite the fact that King David was very weak and tired and old, he was still the king. That is the power of the king. The Bible says, where the voice of a king is, there is authority, there is power. All that King David needed to do was just to announce the kingship of Solomon. And he did one thing, which was an advantage over Adonijah. Adonijah did not have access to the king's meal. Because when they just ordain you a king, you must ride on the king's meal so that you be announced. That's what they tried to do by choosing 50 men to run after him. But he was not riding on the king's meal. Solomon was ordained 
by David. The garment of royalty was put upon him. He rode on the king's mill. You see, the moment the people saw the king's mill, they knew the king that was fake, and they knew the king that was original immediately. Even though I don't hear people have been shouting and celebrating, but there was another shout that swallowed that shout. Somebody is here. <laughs> your shout of celebration will swallow the shout of your enemy in the name of Jesus. Your shout of celebration will, will swallow the shout of your enemy in the name of Jesus. All the enemies that have been rejoicing over you before today, from today, the shout of your celebration will drown their shout, will swallow their shout in the name of Jesus. Yes, the moment Solomon came out with the king's meal. The whole city went up and up. They, they went into frenzy. They were, there was an uproar. They were shouting and screaming, hailing the king. I don't need that. Say, what is going on? Immediately they told him he knew that he was dead. In fact, if you read that Bible very well, the Bible says he ran to the temple to go and hold the altar, the, ten, the temple altar, and was pleading for his life. He was a king for a few hours. I pray for you. The kingship of your enemies over your life shall expire by fire. In the name of Jesus. In fact, the kingship of your enemies over your life expires by fire today it expires by fire today it expires by fire today it expires by fire today so Bathsheba and her son Solomon went to the king King David for you there is no King David because he's already dead but there is the son of David the king of kings The Lord that says, sit here until I've made your enemies your footstool. David said, and the Lord said unto my Lord, hey, the son that was a father, Jesus Christ. He was the father of David. Even though he was the great grandson of David, of the house of Jesse. But he was the father. He was the Lord of his Lord. He was the father of his father. Or oh, he's the father of his father. You want to recover your throne? You need the fourth man in the fire. The one that has a hair as white as wool, as white as snow. The one that has the eyeballs of fire. The one that wears the garment of fire. That when the enemy sees the garment of fire, they tremble and they flee. The one that has the, the leg of brass. The Bible says, like a burning furnace. Jesus Christ. The brighter minister. The only one of Israel. He's the only one that can recover that truth. He's the only one that can recover that position. Don't let me deceive. Because the powers that are holding that position, you don't have their power. If you try it without Jesus, they will bury you. That's why I'm imploring you right now to give your life to Jesus. The only one that can help you in this matter. The only one that can restore back to you your position, your throne, your wealth, your riches, your greatness. Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. You need to surrender to Him. You need to begin to worship Him with your life. You need to stop being unserious with Jesus. You need to stop being worldly and becoming more godly, more prayerful, and less playful. 
we like party. But when it comes to fellowship, you are very allergic. It's very mechanical. So go to a, to, to a party, birthday party, where they cut off the head of John the Baptist, where Vashtis lose their position. You are always in high spirit, where they can destroy you. But in fellowship, where your life can be reconnected back to your destiny, you are not very interested. Pastors and ministers are begging you to come to fellowship for your own good. They are begging you to come and recover your own lost position, transferred through. And you are even still abusing some of them. A lot of people don't know. We are calling you to come and serve Jesus. It's for your own good. It's so that you can recover everything that they have vandalized in your life. So that you can become that which God has proposed you to become. You need a holy life. You need a righteous life. Holiness will help you. Righteousness will help you in recovering your stolen position. In recovering your stolen divine throne. Don't forsake prayer meetings like this. There's a lot of fire in there. The fire of this kind of meetings will also help you. Instead of gathering with party goers, I don't to gather with fellowshipers. Those that like to gather in the presence of God and go in the frenzy of the Holy Spirit. Like it happened in Acts chapter 2. They were in the frenzy when the Holy Spirit came in like a mighty rushing wind. What they got in that party, they can, you can never get it in any worldly party. The Bible says the only ghost sat on them as a global tongue of fire. And they spoke with new tongues. That's what happens when you join the saints to aggressively worship God. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Why don't you begin to thank God for what he has done for you in this prayer meeting again? It's Friday again, we give glory to God. We thank him for all what he has done for us this week, especially the testimonies. We give him all the glory. All these testimonies shall remain permanent in the name of Jesus. And I know that some testimonies I also bring right now, even for next week. We shall hear more of the manifestation of the power of God in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for everyone that has joined this prayer meeting today. Give them a wonderful gift for the weekend. In the name of Jesus. This weekend, you will see Jesus face to face. That which has been allocated to you, that the enemy has transferred or stolen from your life, this weekend you will recover them by the power in the blood of Jesus. And your life will never remain the same again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and thank God for Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministries, Tampa, Florida. Father, we just thank you for this church. We thank you for MFM Tampa, Florida. We thank you for all the members, all those that are paying their time, they are paying their offerings to enable us to be on this platform. Father, we give you all the glory. God, they are paying the bills for the light, the box, the instruments for broadcast. Then God will continue to bless each and every one of them. Yes. None of them, no member in the from Tampa, Florida, whether physical or virtual, shall die a pauper in the name of Jesus. As a matter of fact, everyone shall become great and prosperous in the name from Tampa, Florida, in the name of Jesus. And the fame of God will spread abroad from this particular church in the name of Jesus. Father, all the territorial powers, environmental powers, Landlord spirits, lions of the land, wrestling with MFM Tampa, Florida, Father slaughter them by thunder. Father slaughter them by thunder. In the name of Jesus, you will build this church and the gates of hell, the gates of hate, will not prevail against it. In the name of Jesus, everyone in MFM Tampa, Florida, including me, the pastor, we shall become very great by the power in the blood of Jesus. And every one of you that are also joining us, 
because you have become uh, MFM Tampa online members, you too shall become very great by the power and the blood of Jesus. Let's thank God for Dr. Daniel Kolawali Bukoya, our Father in the Lord, the General Vassal of Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, Tampa, Florida. The Lord will continue to lift up his hands. The Bible says when Moses lifted up his hands in the wilderness, he said the Israel was winning the war. But whenever he put down his hands, he said the Amalekites were winning the war. As from today, the Lord will permanently lift up the hands of Dr. Daniel Kolawali Rukoya. Yes, our Father in the Lord, the General of our Self Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministries, in the name of Jesus. Yes, and he will continue to win the battles. He will never lose any battle. Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministries worldwide will never lose any battle. No matter how tough and rough they may be. And you yourself that you are praying for him and praying for his family and his ministry, you will never lose any battle again in your life. I will never, my wife, my children, we will never lose any battle again in our life. With every battle, we shall have the victory of the living God. Dr. Daniel Kolawalu Lukoya will always have victory of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. And he shall be well with his family and his descendants in the name of Jesus. Let's thank God for our land. Wherever you are, just thank God. Thank God I'm in America. I thank God for the land. I thank God for President Trump. I soak him in the blood of Jesus. Uh, the Democratic Party uh, flag bearer now, uh, Vice President Biden, I soak them all in the blood of Jesus. Whosoever will win November election will be the will of God for America. Will not be the will of any kingdom of darkness. In the name of Jesus. And through them, the power of God will rest upon America. God can use any man. God can use the devil even to change the place if he wants. After all, he was using Nebuchadnezzar to flog Israel all the time. Father, I know you can use anyone to rebuild the sanity of America. Whosoever you have chosen, Father, put them on the throne come January. And let them win this November election without any problem, without any query, without any opposition or antagonism. In the name of, let, the, let the winning be clear cut so that no man will be able to contest it, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And all those that are planning war for America, Father, let the Red Sea swallow them in the name of Jesus. There shall be no war in America. There shall be no civil disobedience in America. The peace of God will reign over this land in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord will continue to make this land a land of abundance by the power of his holy name. The president, the senators, the house of breath, the hand of God will come upon them. The power of God will overshadow them. They don't have any option. They will have, they must do the will of God in the mighty name of Jesus. For the blood of Jesus will go after them, one by one, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, this coronavirus, let your power destroy it, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for everything. Take all the glory. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let us begin to share the grace now, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For that which God has done for us in this prayer meeting, let us give him seven powerful hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Don't forget to like our page. Don't forget to share the prayer meeting. Do watch party with the prayer meeting. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. MFM Tampa, Florida. God bless you. Have a beautiful weekend in the name of Jesus. See you again on Monday, 12 noon, Florida time, by the special grace of God.